Hey everyone, John O'Sullivan here, founder of the Change the Game Project, and today I want to talk about really reinventing youth soccer development in the United States and youth sports development as a whole. Now, traditionally there are three paths to mastery in a sport, and these are scientifically studied and they, and they fall into three categories. The first path is the early specialization path where athletes are doing deliberate practice from a very, very young age. They're put in an organized structure and they are taught basic skills with the long-term goal of, of getting them to a very, very high level. The second path is called the early diversification path, where athletes play multiple sports over many years up until about the age 12. We call this the sampling stage. And then at that age, they start to specialize and learn their more sports-specific skills and then really become competitive in their later teen years. And then the third path is called the early engagement path. And in the early engagement path, it's really a path that's followed in a lot of South American countries and Southern European countries where most of the early years are just engaged in play. Kids play soccer, but it's just free play, it's street soccer, it's futsal, it's not about training, it's not about being in a pro club. Yes, that might be their aspiration, but what they're doing is they're just playing the game. Now, what we've seen is that what we consider the best players in the world, they really come from that third path, this early engagement path. The Messis, the Ronaldos, the Maradonas, the Pelés, they just played soccer as kids because when they play, what do they do? They are fearless. They try things, they're not afraid to make mistakes, they become very creative. Now, in our country, in the United States, and in a lot of Northern European countries now, we have this early specialization path, where kids are funneled all into one system really, really young. And <clears throat> what I think the biggest problem with in the United States is that we're putting all our players into the same funnel. Yet 99.9% .9 of them aren't going to be pro soccer players but we're doing so much deliberate practice and we're not playing enough at this young age that we're really missing three things. If our kids are ever going to become good at sports, before they develop skill, we need to develop enjoyment, we need to develop autonomy and ownership of the experience, and they need to develop intrinsic motivation to go and play. Now, free play develops those things because it's all about enjoyment. Deliberate practice does not necessarily develop them because it's about putting off enjoyment for a long-term goal. Now, in some countries, say Iceland, they are doing a great job with the early specialization model because their level of coaching education is so much higher than it is in the United States. The youngest kids, the five and six-year-olds, actually have paid professional coaches, 40% of whom in the country of Iceland have a UEFA B license or better. Now, we're nowhere near that in this country. So if we want to really develop the players that, that our national teams say they want, these creative, brave, fearless players, I think we have to develop a fourth path. And that path has to use the best of our structure, the, the science, the funding we have, the facilities we have, our opportunity to educate coaches, our research, our understanding of nutrition, and provide this safe, organized environment for kids to play freely in. If we could make sure that half of our practices or more for these kids 12 and under are just free play, if we could encourage more street soccer and more futsal, heck, I think if, if our kids never played anything but futsal until they're 11 or 12, year old, 12 years old, we'd be much better off as a soccer playing nation because our kids would be brave and they would be comfortable on the ball in tight spaces and they would know how to use all surfaces and they would have no need to be kicking balls forward because everything is in a small space. So I think we really need to ask ourselves in the United States, can we create a fourth path? Can we meld the best things from other countries, the coaching education piece and the, the, the structure piece from France and from Germany and from Iceland and countries that are doing it well? Can we meld that with a free play model that we see in a Portugal, that we see in a Spain, that we see in a South America, and find an American path that allows more kids to play, that allows them to play freely, and in the end, 
While that 0.1% of elite players comes out, far more importantly, we will create the next generation of fans, the next generation of coaches, the next generation of referees, the people who will love this game and who will introduce their kids to this game. And that's how we're going to grow the game in our country. And that's how we're going to have more of our top athletes going into soccer by making more people fall in love with the game first. So I hope you enjoy this. Please leave some comments. Please leave some questions below and let me know what you think. And if you want to read the written version of this, please click the link below this video and you can see the article that I wrote for SoccerWire.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Please, please share your thoughts.